Welcome back. I'm back in the shed with the strange noise on 28074. And I'd like to thank everybody, and there was a lot of people that left comments on the last video to identify that as FT8, and that is weak signal data that was coming through. And also people directed me in the direction of some software, which was WSJTX, which is a decoding program and said yep Fred you can have a go and decode that and uh, that's what I've been trying to do I was hoping to get a video where I know it's not very interesting I know people have said it you know it's like watching paint dry and it's just going to be CQ and, and just basic information coming through on the message board but I just wanted to do it I just wanted to decode it and uh, yeah I'd like to thank everybody that left me comments and put me in the direction of this WSJTX software. And I say, I wanted to make a video on this, wanted to show you this working. Unfortunately, because I'm a little bit thick, <laughs> this is the dumbest radio channel on YouTube, um, I can't get it to work. I have tried, I have read the instructions, and I'm doing something wrong, and uh, yeah, just haven't quite got the intellect to get this going. So that's what I'm hoping to do on this video. I'm just going to sort of show you what I'm doing, and hopefully you'll be able to point me in the right direction and say yeah Fred you idiot you're doing that wrong you should have done this and that and I just want to get it working just want to see what it is but let me show you what I'm doing so far so what we've got we've got the 6900 I've now tuned into the correct 10 meter frequency 28074 and then all I'm doing is I'm going to put in a little 3.5 millimeter mono uh, mono jack there goes into the back vinyl adapter and I'm going to plug that into the microphone socket of my laptop and uh, I'll show you what's happening it, it, it is receiving the uh, signal but I can't seem to get it to decode which is a little bit odd but now I do apologize this is going to be very very rough uh, I'm gonna have to record straight on the screen and it, oh, it's gonna it's gonna look terrible so uh, yeah I don't feel good about that so very very so sorry but I will put some screenshots up as I go along and then hopefully you can see what settings I'm using etc but let's get right into it right here we go uh, so once again sorry about the screenshot here so this WSJTX software and uh, yeah I've set the level on the radio um, I, what I found is, the, is that I need to set it quite high on the side here. Well, I, I just, but it's very, very sensitive. So if I turn it up just a little bit, it goes red quite quickly. But I just need to set it just so it's just under the red, and uh, the little decode light then starts. Uh, start sort of flashing and you can see the thing cycling there you, you've got the 15 second sort of data transfer that that's cycling and it is receiving I, I can put on the waterfall and there we go um, we can definitely see on the frequency response scale there it is receiving data but nothing is being decoded now I'll give you a couple of clearer screenshots in a second and I'll go through it but I've got everything I've got the mode I've got I'm in the right mode I've got the right frequency 28.074 I'm in the FT8 mode and as I say I've got the level as high as I can and although the decode it does flash every now and decode I, I expected that I would be getting some messages coming up here and uh, yeah it's just not working I'm just a bit thick I think it just haven't got it working I was expecting it to work straight out of the box to be honest um, I do expect a lot don't I so right here I'm just gonna go on now I'm just gonna do a, a few little screenshots and I'll just sort of talk my way through those so you can see some of the settings that I've got and hopefully some of you that know what you're doing um, will be able to help me out okay this is a screenshot of what I was trying to sh show you there. I think I've, I've left everything alone. There's one thing that if you look in the middle of the screen where it says the TX and RX frequency, obviously I'm not transmitting, but the RX frequency, it said set that to 1224, which I did. That was just in the basic setup guide. But hopefully, yeah, you can see that that's kind of the basic settings that how the program's set up. Let me just show you to make sure some of the other, I'll go through some of the mode and some of the other settings so you can see what I've done now. So this is just some of the parameters that I've set in the set settings menu. As I say, I haven't really touched anything. Uh, I have read the guide and I'm not sure really what I've done here. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've got this right at all, but you can, you know, hopefully some of you might be out of spot and uh, Anyway, here we go, back to the main screen. So yeah, that's about as far as I've 
God, I, I know it's, I sound a little dumb, don't I, doing this, but uh, yeah, any suggestions? Um, you know, why it's not decoding? Uh, no, as I say, a lot of, I've watched a few of the videos on YouTube, but obviously they're a lot more advanced, as that's if you actually want to use it, it's supposed to be so, used for. Yeah, a bit yes. stuck at the moment. Uh, any advice, if you can see something that I've missed, this is one of the dumbest radio channels on YouTube, of course, but if you can see something that I possibly have missed, not switched on, maybe set wrong. I mean, I was, I was kind of hoping it would work straight out of the box, but I know uh, I was talking to Awesome Dave and he was going on about a 15 second sort of packet timing has to be uh, kind of adjusted. So maybe it just won't work with my basic 6900. Maybe I'm asking a little bit too much just to plug that straight in. But I know this can be decoded because someone did actually take the time to decode some of the audio that I recorded on my last video. So yeah, it can work. Well, there you go. Just a short video. Um, yeah, any help in the comments is much appreciated. And if I get this working, I'll do you uh, another video. I don't know, it's like watching paint dry, someone said, but I find this interesting. I just find it fascinating. I really would like to get this to work and then I'll move on and do something else. But that's it for this video, so cheers. Thanks from the whole thread in the shed. Please stay safe and uh, thanks in advance for the comments and I'll catch you on the next one.